In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is capacity planning? In other videos, we're going to drill into the tool and show you exactly how all this works in Rally, but here we're just going to introduce the concept. And it's actually a pretty easy concept to grasp. You're probably familiar with the idea of sprint planning, and capacity planning really is the same thing, but you're dealing with bigger chunks of time and bigger chunks of work. So let's say your organization plans quarterly, and you're getting ready to plan your Q1 release. At this point, hopefully you have a bunch of features built out. So your features are your lowest level portfolio items, and they contain all of the user stories that make up the work that's gonna be done in this release. Team or iteration planning typically happens at the user story level, but your capacity planning is gonna happen at the feature level. And ideally, instead of just a big glob of stuff that you need to get done, You've actually organized these features in a backlog and sorted them into priority order so you know what's most important. And if you're really on top of it, you've had the delivery teams that are going to be working on this release take a quick look at these features to provide a preliminary estimate to help you size the work. And at this point, this is going to be a high-level estimate, probably just a t-shirt size, small, medium, large, and so on. But those initial estimates are going to be a very important starting point as you begin to plan your release and as you begin discussions with the product team about the expectations for this release. So if this is all the stuff you really need to get done, the question is how much of this work will fit in here? That is, how much of this work can we reasonably expect the delivery teams to complete in Q1? So how do you determine that? Do you just take a wild guess? Do you talk to the teams to get their gut feel? Hopefully not. Although if you are completely new to Agile or new to Rally, or you're working with newly formed teams that have never worked together before, that might not be as far from the truth as you would like. But you have to start somewhere, and your capacity plan can still help quite a bit in these situations. However, if you're working with established teams that have been tracking their work in Rally for at least a little while, Rally, and specifically the Rally Capacity Planning page, is going to be your friend. It's going to take a lot of the guesswork out of how much work these teams can complete in the time boundaries of your release. So how does that work? Well, the first thing you're going to do in a capacity plan is add all of the projects or teams that are going to be doing the work. And that might be one team or a team of teams. The key point is that everyone in your plan will be working on the same deliverable or product. Next, you want to understand the capacity of these teams. That is, how much work they can complete. And Rally has a variety of tools that we're going to show you that help you answer that question by looking at the historical velocity, based on story points, and the historical throughput, based on story count, for a similar time period. In other words, how many points or stories did these teams actually complete last quarter? The quarter before that, or the quarter before that? And once you have the capacity of your teams, and you have preliminary estimates in place, it's pretty simple math to understand how much of this will fit into this. And you can start moving in features and assigning them to teams to build out your preliminary plan. And as planning continues, teams will drill into these features, start refining those preliminary estimates, and figuring out exactly how the work will be assigned and allocated. And that's capacity planning in a nutshell. How much work do we have to do? How much of that work do we think we can successfully commit to taking on? It's a simple idea, but without the data, it's hard to have realistic conversations about what can and can't be done. And that's really the point of the whole planning process. The data-based conversations that bring the entire organization into a place where everyone feels comfortable with the plan and is committed to moving forward. In the next few videos, I'll show you how all of this plays out in the capacity planning page in Rally. To learn more about Rally and Agile practices, check out our blog and community. Like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss new content as it's added.